Welcome to the course Cybersecurity, Privacy and Ethical Implication. My name is Claudia Patricia Santiago Celi, and, and I am Associate Professor at the Escuela Colombiana de Ingeniería, Julio Garavito. This course has been developed by the project Car for City, and in this lecture, I will talk about basic concepts of information security, cybersecurity, and privacy. The learning objectives of this lecture are first, review some concepts related to cybersecurity and clarify them. Second, introduce some other key terms in the study and the protection information. And third, present some case studies or examples that will allow us to understand the current context to identify the cybersecurity problems around it. According to the previous learning objectives, we have understand five essential concepts. Information security, IT security, cybersecurity, privacy, and ethical implications. So let's start with the definition of information security. Information security is the set of process and methodologies designed to implement the protect printing, electronic, and any other form of information or data. From an authorized access, use, misuse, disclosure, destruction, modification, or disruption. Next, in the next definition on information technology security, as the set of process, procedures, tasks, and activities implemented with computing and telecommunication elements to control and protect equipment and information located at a specific size during the storage and in particular media or during the transmission with respect to the integrity, availability, confidentiality, and authenticity. Now, cybersecurity is a recent, recent concept as compared to the previous ones. Cybersecurity has many different definitions, but the general have common ideas such as security in a cyberspace. That is the environment. And cybersecurity is the set of security and control practices applied to information or systems that operate in cyberspace. Data privacy is related to information, business or personal that can be a star with, an, with others, and has to do with restriction access to information according to pre-established parameters. But as we are talking about security, threats, cybercrime, and other implication, ethical consideration must to gain importance. So this is our term, ethical and principles. That is philosophical discipline systematized by Aristotle that study and analyze human action that how and why the human behavior. On the other hand, the principles are the fundamental assumption guiding and influence action. These two terms together are the guidelines for human behavior in the cyberspace environment. Continuing with the learning objects, objectives, some of the key terms are known the security trial the protection and security systems, service, and information are the following. Availability, guarantee the computer resource, and in particular information we are accessible and usable for legitimate user, according to the profile at the requirements find time and without degradation. Integrity, it refers to the property of accuracy and completeness the information access. Confidentiality or privacy is a property or security requirement that requires information to be accessed by each user based on what they must see according to the area of business. Also, we have other essential terms which are not directly related with information. They are authentication, the ISO 27000 standard defined it as a process used to confirm the climate characteristic of our entity is actually correct. No repudiation, registration, or unequivocal identification of the principles on an electronic transaction in such a way that they cannot deny, deny it or any time. And also refer the ability to prove, prove the occurrence of a claimed event in act 
in action in their origin and entities. Consistent or reliable reliability is the property of system, although no, ex no exclusive of them. Granting that their behavior is always the same under the same circumstance. Registration, this is requirement, refers to the fact that all actions with a computer system, application, networks, computers, databases, are registered to the purpose of subsequent audits. Governance, it ensures alignment of information security with business strategy. It includes policy and practice by which an organization information security activities are directly and controlled. Compliance, the objectives of compliance is to avoid breaches of legal, statutory, regulatory, and actually obligation related to information security and any security related requirements. Now, having addressed this time, I will introduce other related to cyber security. They are cyber attacks, an attack via cyberspace, targeting an enterprise using the cyberspace for the purpose of disrupt, disabling, destroying, or maliciously controlling a computing environment or infrastructure, or destroying the integrity of data, or stealing controlled information. Cyber defense is a state capacity to prevent and counter any threat or an incident of the cyber nature that affects national sovereignty. Cyber delinquency is an awful, unlawful action that are commitment through the use of computer goods or service. Cyber crime refers any crime with an enable or to target computers. Cyber espionage describes computer operation used for intelligence and data collection from tar target or adversary, adversary computer system or to inten in intentional use of computer or digital communication activities gain access to sensitive information about an adversary or competitor to gain an advance of selling sensitive information to monetary rewards. Finally, you will find two examples in the reader, but I suggest think about the next one and reflect, reflecting on it. Suppose there is a banking institution, and in particular, th think about the banking client information. Now, from the information security trial, what, thing, what security requirement do you think the most critical to the bank is? If you think on something is critical in the bank services, all the, the, the uh, security requirements on customer data are very important. See? Yes, integrity is a fundamental concern because the information on customer counters cannot be changed. Be, uh, the basic information on customer, the products and the service they have with the bank, the products balance, the type of amount of the transaction they carry out, their login information, everything is critical. As the conf uh, confidentiality, much of uh, social customer information is private, and therefore ensure that the confidentiality is maintained in your banking products is fundamental. Finally, an availability is also important since if the customer requires using the financial resource, the bank must allow him to do so. Now, this is the last requirement should perhaps he considered the less, the less critical of the three. If due the security breach, the bank service are offline Client may prefer not to carry out transaction for a while before accepting that the private information is public or the money is stolen. Last to finish the lesson, you must read the lecture and think about examples before, before the evaluation, which considerate of, of the chapter auto evaluation. Here is an evaluation question example. What is cyber attack? An attack targeting an enterprise used by cyberspace. The disruption to disrupt the services. Thank you for watching this video. Hope I enjoyed the lecture and learn more information regarding cybersecurity applied to the smart city.